Hello folks, Steve here at Boss Trailers. Uh, today we're going to take a closer look at a uh, Sport Trek Touring Edition Model 302 VRB, rear bathroom. Uh, it's quite the trailer. In fact, Venture makes the same floor plan in a Sport Trek called a 270 without the slide out in the bedroom. So what we gain in here is tons of extra, very expensive and interesting features and the second slide in the bedroom. So uh, let's not waste any time and, and go around. I know this is going to be 10 minutes, so uh, let's just uh, move on. Electric tongue jacks, there's LED lights, two times 30 pounder, battery disconnect in the back, and the very amazing, beautiful, gel-coated, fiberglass and painted fiberglass cap with uh, automotive window. Basically, it's a windshield, it's what it is. You can't beat that. There's LED lights on the top as well. It is absolutely incredible. Uh, fully enclosed and heated underbelly. Also LED lights under the trailer. Pass-through storage, slam latch, magnetic holder. Ready for solar panel. There is an LED lights with a motion detector inside the compartment. There's a switch for under the trailer light and the front cap. Uh, you're gonna find four of those beautiful little switches here because this one has uh, stabilizer jacks, electric, with individual switch and motor. Very nice. Rain gutters and spout extension, frameless window. This is an upgrade. Uh, gel coated as well. Very nice finish. The new track step. Uh, very sturdy, actually, uh, store inside the trailer. And. Uh, Self-closing screen door, friction hinge on the reel on the door itself, the entrance door, a large foldable entry handle, a bottle opener doggy shoulder, your water heater runs on gas and electrical, a nice wheels this year, radio tires, uh, outside speakers, outside kitchen with a fridge, two burner stove and a sink with hot and cold. The stove comes right out, to burner, beautiful little unit. Again, a magnetic holder for the compartments. One key fill all the locks, so that would be your storage lock, your entry door, uh, the one underneath your bed, we're gonna see that on the other side, and of course the one for the outside kitchen. We have your other switch for the rear jacks. Uh, we talked about the rain gutters. There's also a rain gutter on the back wall with the gutter extension in the corner. Uh, I've never seen that on any other product, folks. Uh, roof ladder, 200 pounds flip up cargo rack. Uh, you can bring a generator, your bicycle if you want. There's a bar that you can put up to help uh, tie your goods. Cable satellite ready, all exterior lights are LED, including the tail light. 50 amp service, folks. There is an AC on here and two fireplaces. We'll talk about that inside. Uh, outside shower, black tank flush, city water connection. Uh, you got your valves right there and your sewer connection. Double wiper seals on all the slide outs. Uh, nice little bob seals in the track. I repeat myself in every video, I know, but uh, this is what makes the difference between a better build trailer and, and a more affordable one, I guess. Uh, rain gutter over top of the slide out. We move towards the front. Not too much to see here, but we do have our storage underneath the bed. It goes right under the king size bed. It's not unlocked and I don't have the key, so we'll have to imagine it. Okay, let's take a look inside. We did talk about the self-closing screen door. Yes, we did. All right, first thing when you come in, uh, the first thing you notice is this little wall here and a place to hang your coat. How's that? Well, let's take a look at the other side while we're at it. It's basically a humongous pantry. So floor to ceiling, there is more room on the top as well. It's uh, going to be hard to beat. Now, your monitor panels are behind this door here. Slide out button, awning slide out, and your light switches. So this little room is separated. We're gonna start at the front. We normally start with the kitchen, but I'm gonna start at the front this time. It is separated by a cube pocket door that closes the room up. So it's uh, very private, really like that. But once it's open, the opening is a little larger and there's a nice flow. 
There is two switches on the wall right here before you get in. One is for your main light and the other one is for the blue lights above the cabinet. So folks, let's take a look at this. King size bed. Uh, beautifully dressed. I like the designer bedspread and they threw in a few extra cushions in there to dress it up. I like the new back wall. That whole barn style look is, uh, is a plus for sure. There is some gas strapped underneath. And a nice storage, you can see that outside compartment in the back of it. <clears throat> the bed bay is also made out of plywood and so is your floor folks. This is, uh, this is built like your house floor. Floor joists, 16 inch on center, uh, deck with 5 8 tongue and group plywood. It's actually probably better than your house. A lot of the home builder use uh, OSB for decking on the floor. That front window in the bedroom, it's a uh, it's a feature that a lot of people like. They have a little sitting area. You can use some of the pillow they give you and make that a place to come and have your cup of coffee in the morning or read your book. There's a couple of little cubby holes in the back with a power outlet and a USB outlet to charge your device uh, or your phone, whatever. Uh, lots of storage above. We talked about the LED lights. Uh, two hanging closet with real bar. A real hanger fit. A nice little dresser with your fireplace, three drawers, a place to leave your shoes or your slippers. There is a fantastic, or I should say a Max Air fan, let's call it for what it is. It is rain sensored, thermostat controlled, and remote controlled. So you can bring it by the bed if you want. Uh, this thing will keep the temperature you set it at, and if it starts raining, it will close. So you're not going to end up sleeping in a wet bed. Uh, there is a connection for your TV as well. And this trailer, like every Venture RV product, is prepped for uh, King Wi-Fi uh, signal extender. So folks, uh, there's, a, there's a dock for the heat, there's a dock for the AC as well. Nothing is missing in this beautiful bedroom and that's the difference between the 270 in the Sport Track and the 302 in the Touring Edition. We have more room here. We have put the bed in a in a slide out, they made it a king. We don't get that in the regular sport track. Now, let's talk about kitchen. One other thing that I really like, as if we're missing a little bit of room, but there's a humongous shelf here for all pots, pans, uh, pressure cooker, whatever you're bringing with you camping. Hard surface countertop, one single bowl, farmer style, undermounted, stainless steel sink. Uh, with two of those racks, folks. So I'm putting only one there. That's probably how I would use it. Do your dishes, get them to rinse them out, and get them to dry. Perfect. Uh, pull out tap. Residential quality. There's a good feel to it. It doesn't feel plasticky like a lot of the stuff out there. Uh, a shelf. <laughs> it's uh, something I don't see too often. There is a shelf in the cupboards. Your microwave, your range hood is vented outside. There is a light in the backsplash. I haven't found the switch, but it is somewhere. Three burner stove. Um, with a flush mounted bifold glass stuff. It's by Furion. Extremely high quality. Definitely uh, an improvement over the last models that uh, the manufacturer were using. There is a uh, light for the button as well as a light in the oven. And it's the same quality as the oven you have at home. but running on gas. A place for your sponge and your drawer again in the kitchen, full extension ball bearing hardware, very nice. And also that too often. Eight cubic foot fridge, so it's two door, LED lit, there's a big pot and pan drawers. And if that wasn't enough, and we talked about that pantry when we first came in, there is some extra storage above the TV cabinet which is also above the outside kitchen. That's the space they're not using. And there's a little cubby hole on the front here for nicks and knocks. It comes with a TV, AM, FM, CD, DVD, Bluetooth, USB auxiliary. There's the other frameless 30 inch uh, fireplace. You can choose the color of the crystal, you can choose the color of the flame, but more important, it produces heat. It's 1400 watts, so you get two of those. It'll keep you nice and warm. Uh, at the beginning and the end of the season. Uh, on this side, because uh, we decided to go with the freestanding table and chair, we decided to put the three-fold sleeper sofa so you have another place to sleep. 
that is the most comfortable sleeping arrangement the industry uh, came up with in a sofa sleeping arrangement. It's very comfy, there is no bar in the middle of your back. It's pretty much a norm in the industry now. There's some storage above, some light as well on a light switch. Your dining arrangement, nice wood finish table. Four freestanding chair. There is storage underneath the seating on all four of them. There's a beautiful light switch right here as well. Uh, one of the things that strike every customer that walks in here is of course it's extremely bright. So there are lots of windows and they made them as big as they can. So and they're all open. Also they add a skylight with a blind. So if there's too much sun for you, you can close it up. Uh, pretty nice, uh, pretty nice uh, living, dining, cooking arrangement. The bathroom, however, in the back is always uh, a nice surprise. So uh, we have a corner shower with glass doors, uh, pretty much standard in the industry. We have a very large, I'm gonna turn on the light, very large linen closet here. Definitely room for all of those extra roll of toilet paper. There is an extra medicine cabinet in the corner here. There's a power fan. There's AC vent. There's a push flush toilet. Porcelain toilet. There's a light switch and a switch for the power fan as well. And just behind that door, a medicine cabinet, a nice little vanity with a fairly large sink, uh, stainless steel, and a little bit of storage below. Uh, I like the fact they move the sink as forward as they can on that counter because when you brush your teeth, it, you're right above the sink. Something we don't really notice. Now in this room, the nice little bonus is this uh, walk-in closet. It's actually fairly large. There is three drawers. So three more drawers on the dresser. More room on the floor to leave your extra shoes and slippers. There's a mirror to make sure you look good. There's a light switch on the wall. There's a power outlet if you need to dry your hair. There is hooks on the wall. And there's two bars to hang your clothes. Oh, what can I say, folks? Very complete bathroom. Um, folks, I think we're done. Thanks for watching.